was silly. Hello. You look so bad. <laughs> so Ed is going to be in the background of this video because he has nowhere else to be and nowhere else to go. So he's going to randomly interrupt me and also video <gasps> game in the background. That I'm not editing that out, by the way. That is going to be your legacy. <laughs> My legacy. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize in advance. So today we and tomorrow we're gonna do a get ready with me because I do want to vlog a lot of pride tomorrow, but also I'm kind of shy about vlogging in public. Um, I'm you, don't worry. You'll vlog me. I don't even know if that's a euphemism or not. It's not. It really isn't. Um, but I am not a makeup guru, so I'm not gonna tell you all my steps. I'm just gonna allow you to get ready with me. Um, I might speed some of this up if it's just me being quiet and doing my makeup. Um, the last time I did a get ready with me, it was a live stream and honestly it was the worst thing ever because the live stream was so poor and you can barely see anything going on. But it is the Pride Parade tomorrow. So tonight we're just doing a night of drinking and making merry before that and i thought i would do a vlog for today because we actually went and got a lot of stuff for pride um today i'm ignoring you ed um we actually went out and we got a lot of clothes and accessories for pride so you'll probably see that on twitter or instagram if you follow me there um i'm just moisturizing and cleaning my face from the day because i had a little bit of makeup on earlier and now I want to put a full face of makeup on and also I put my hair down to flatten my face but now I'm going to have to tie it up anyway um, but yeah so we're just going to go well I'm going to go to two different bars last night we had a meet up with the Council of Ex Muslims and if you haven't signed on to that and you're in the UK or in London um, you certainly should because they have events all the time but I went to a CEMB or a Council of Ex Muslims event yesterday which was all based around the LGBT we had a couple of um, moderately famous uh, activists there. Um, Kakan Qureshi was there, Jimmy Bangash was there, Jimmy's lovely and I still really want to peer pressure him into coming out and drinking with us tonight but I don't think he will. Um, I mean any of you who see this video and then see Jimmy or like follow Jimmy please do tell him that I'm severely disappointed that he would not drink with us tonight. Um, but yeah, it was a great time. There it were... just reminds me of that song Saint Jimmy by, by Green Day. Huh? You know that song uh, Saint Jimmy by Green Day? I don't know what that is. Should I put it on? No, because I will get copy striked by YouTube if you put music in the background of my video. I like it! No! This is why we can't have you in the background of videos, Ed. <laughs> The little devil on your shoulder. It's not, you're not the little devil on my shoulder. You're the copy strike on my shoulder. I love you too. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had Jimmy was there, Sadia Hamid was there, Ali Malik was there, Mariam Namazi was there. Well, they're usually at a lot of um, ex-Muslim meetups. And they're not as big as you would think they were. They're quite intimate and small in terms of a gathering. Um... So, yeah, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a couple of speeches. Uh, Halima Salat was there. Um, she's amazing. I went shopping with her today. She's brilliant. Um, but she was there. She came all the way from uh, the Netherlands to come and read poetry for us. And it was extremely emotive. We were all crying, me especially. Um, but it was really intimate we had a lot of very heated discussions about um uh like being gay as an identity and how it uh, can some kind be sometimes be in conflict with being a woman we discussed trans rights we discussed um whether or not it's you know i don't want to anger anybody uh, whether or not it's like compatible to continue to be religious and gay but the, my general answer to that is that you can be whatever you want to be you know whatever makes you happy you do you i mean look at me look at my hair you're a unicorn girl we do whatever we want in this house mm -hmm. um and now 
So the original plan for tonight was just to meet up with a friend and, you know, go ham because that's what I do all the time. But um, last night at the meetup, we were invited, me, we being me, Zara and a couple of other ex-Muslims were invited to go to Troy Bar, um, which thankfully this is going up later. So nobody's going to come hunt us down at Troy Bar. But um, yeah, that's where we're going and we're gonna have a great time we're just gonna get drunk and hopefully we can wake up early tomorrow to do our costumes because lord knows we have costumes that's not true uh, excuse me that is not true How come? because it's not <laughs> being rude. i'm not being rude Mean. how am i being rude that's not the reason you're lying to the internet I'm <laughs> I think that's more or less full coverage, right? I'll put some concealer on. I know you guys can see my Gucci eye bags right here. I'm stealing that straight from Vidu because Vidu said it and now I'm saying it. And y'all can go tell him if you want to. Oh, gotta blend this down with my neck. In a couple of days, I'll be too tan for this foundation and then I'm gonna have to bring out my old nasty ass crusty foundation that's a bit darker than this to make it match with the rest of my skin. And I look extra yellow today because Ed turned on the lights and the lights are yellow, okay? So Let stop me judging me. Them off. No, it's okay. I won't be able to see without them. So. Precisely, because we're both blind as fuck. Well, I mean, I'm wearing contacts, so. And I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. So now, after I've doused my face in foundation so that my skin will break out consistently over the summer, um, I'm just going to cover it in powder to make sure it stays set, even though it won't. So I don't even know why I'm doing this. Um, but it's to help it just not melt off my face while I'm throwing up a storm in the club. Why am I doing this today? I don't even like clubs. Because you're a maverick. I like bars. I just like, I just like punishing myself. That's, that's what it is. I just enjoy punishing myself. I mean, look at me. I hate makeup. I hate going to bars and clubs and getting drunk and then not feeling well the next day. And then I do it anyway because people tell me they want to go out and I don't want to be the boring person. You know what, what, what bar is probably completely fucking lit today? Nobody even says that anymore. Oh, shut up. I like the word lit. I don't know why it went out of fashion randomly. Because it's a fucking weird word. It's not. I it like is. I like the word lit. I hate a lot of other slang, but I like the word lit. lit. But do you know which um, club would be absolutely fucking banging today? GAY. GAY would be absolutely packed today. It's going to be packed tomorrow as well. We are going tomorrow, just so what in the evening yes, sir. <gasps> no i don't want to be i don't want to be hit on by random straight widows they're probably gonna hit on me don't worry no not the straight ones like no. i don't mind the gays hitting on me because i find that particularly flattering but it's when the straights come along in a gay bar to hit on me that's what i find disturbing so like, like could you a... not just stay in your creepy straight territory like can you not just do that you're gonna be in a big group of lesbians now you'll be fine oh there are like 12 to 15 lesbians who we're going to be with. Lesbians aren't going to like me. They're fun. They're not going to like me. Hey, well, my great friend Sarah, who we're meeting up with tomorrow, is lesbian. Wait, have I met Sarah already? No. If she watches this video, she's going to be like, girl, no, we haven't. <laughs> you haven't yet. I haven't met her. She's cool. Okay. Well, now I'm excited. You should be. Turt. So Ed really, really likes gay clubs. Yeah. Just FYI, for your information. And um, why do you like gay clubs, Ed? I just prefer gay people over straight people, truthfully. Why do you prefer straight people? Sorry, gay people over straight people. It's because gay people actually make you feel like you're wanted and they feel more interested to talk to you. I prefer the vibe more. I prefer many, many things. He just likes the gays because he gets complimented more by them. That is not. <laughs> Also, you enjoy know. the compliments. But also, I don't have to fucking worry about giving some random girl a weird eye and, and you know, kind of there being these fucking pricks in there and just 
There's way too much extra bullshit going on in straight clubs, I'm telling you that much. Yeah, I can't... Like, the last time we went to a straight club, I can't even remember what it was called. Um, I think it was the one we went to for someone's birthday. Hannah's? Yeah. I don't want to say her name, but thanks. Um, that's okay. Uh, do you remember what it was called? Uh, the one we didn't even go into. We did go to. I got sick and I left early because I generally hate that scene anyway. <laughs> but that's oh, not no, the that reason was, why, that, that, that is not the reason why I left. I left because I was genuinely sick. We had had something and I was just ill. That was just a bar bit. It's, it's, too, it's too fucking posh even for me, I can tell you that much. Was it just a bar? Yeah. It felt like a club, I was suffocating. Um, and the way that it filled up and there was nowhere to sit and I had like dressed to the nines, I was not ready to stand for hours. Um, it was amazing that night. Oh, I, I had dressed. Um, also, for those of you who are judging me for putting on dark black eyebrows, you can go for F off because I love dark black eyebrows and you everybody sure always. Like you fell on my skin tone against her. That's what it's for. Yeah, because it's a different. I don't like it. Um, so nobody make fun of my dark black eyebrows because I think that it's a great look. Like the blonde with the dark brows, I think that's a great look. I was getting excited. Did you want one? It was very much in. Sorry, I'm talking to the internet people right now. Um, but yeah, I would love a cider. Um, it was very much in in the 90s to just do like really dark brows and like really light hair. And I'm still like, even though I'm not a 90s baby, I was born in 95. Um, that is still my aesthetic. I still like the 90s aesthetic. It's what I grew up with where I feel at home. Okay, I don't really know what I'm going for as a look here right now because I'm I kind of want to rock the bi look because Ed likes to point out that I'm what? actually a bisexual. Um, because you are. <laughs> I'm not. You might not be, I don't know, but you know. Maybe you can't like, assume my sexuality. It's my my time to decide what my sexuality is. I know. Most girls think I'm gay. I know, but you're not allowed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go, Monsieur. Enjoy. Thank you. So, the, uh, the I've been learning about bi culture and their flag and all that, and apparently y'all's colour is purple, blue, and pink, which I am all down for. So, here we are. And tomorrow, this is going to be like exacerbated, furiously exacerbated. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be really, really fun. Be so sunburned. We're gonna be sunburned. we're gonna dress Ed up as well. Oh Christ, is that happening tomorrow? Well, I mean, we're not gonna make you look super feminine, but I do want to do some makeup on you. Yeah, that's fine. Because I think you'd look really cute with some makeup on. Are you gonna paint my beard, aren't you? Yeah, I got like a couple of sprays and like one day hair dyes because I'm really enjoying this blonde and I don't want to get rid of it. Um, so I got a couple of paints for uh, tomorrow that will only last for a limited time only. Does it look pink? I think it looks pink. Should I put on one of my songs? You can put on one of your songs. Ed's a musician. I think I may have mentioned that before, but Ed is a musician. So if y'all were ever interested in buying his mixtape, please do. <laughs> because I need the money. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is all I need. I'm not, I mean, yeah, that, is that is basically your life. I love that song. I don't understand why you don't love that song. I love that song too. So why'd you always tell me off for singing it? 
Well, it'd be good is it, it's the context in which you sing it. Which, which what context? What other context is there? Maybe. It's a man begging for money in uh, exchange uh, for uh, stories. Uh, uh, but, 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 when I when I mainly kind of just fucking start complaining about how destitute I am. That is not the context in which I sing it. Usually, yes. it's just random. Right. Let me find it. Actually, it could be on my on my thing. No, it's here. Dope. Found it. Yeah. Yeah. What's it? You can keep talking, right? I know. Saw your face in a little smoky room. You've been turning heads like the sun around the moon. I lose myself so Baby, when you sing It's you and me and no one else It's really nice to meet ya It's really nice to meet ya It's really nice to meet ya Really nice to meet ya Sweet baby Jean Sweet baby Jean Sweet baby Jean Afternoons starts to sing, I lose myself. Really nice to meet ya. Really nice to meet ya. Teddy Jordan, everybody. That's that. That is your stage name. Teddy Jordan is Ed's stage name. Make sure you remember that, because he really doesn't like it when you point that out. It really is a stage name, and if you want to check out the song, it's under that stage name. So I don't even know why he's knocking it. Well, it, it you just debuted it on my show, so according to me, it's up. Okay. <laughs> And it's a great song, so... Thank you! It was nice to... So what you complaining about, bitch? I'm complaining that I'm on camera, bitch. You chose to be on camera. I know. But what if I do that? Am I still on camera? 
Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, I think and maybe I mean went a little under eye heavy, but I mean it's looking pretty regular. I like it. What do you think so far? Oh. Very good. Good? Yeah. Everybody can see all my fat rolls when I turn like this. <laughs> I have fat rolls. I'm a chubby girl. I wouldn't even say chubby, to be honest. I'm you're, chubby. You're just very curvy. I'm thick with two C's, bitch. That's true, actually. I'm thick with two C's. Thick! Toy! You know what? Thick used to be such a bad word back, in, back when I was a kid. Just meant you were dumb yeah. and stupid and that is basically what it's illiterate. Like. But for it. some reason, it's made a comeback, and it's a good thing. Yeah, well, there, there are a lot of um, female singers out there who are um, about champion, you know, who are about championing curvy girls. And one of them is Nicki Minaj. And another one is Megan Trainor. I've never liked Mick and Trainer. Nor have I, but that first song that she did. Um, I didn't like that first song. Her it vocals. Wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I prefer the style more than anything. Her else. vocals for me was so fucking jarring. I hated it. Yeah, she doesn't have the ten nice out of ten hated it. She doesn't have the nicest tone. She just seemed like a Britney ripoff, but she couldn't be skinny. That was it. Whoa, that's it. I mean, that was her whole thing, that's right? That's Taylor Swift. No, I don't think Taylor Swift is trying to rip Britney because Taylor Swift isn't trying to do that nasal sound, whereas Megan Trainor really was trying to pull that off. Mm. I mean, I don't know anything about music. Ed can vouch for that. I I know nothing about You're music. Learning but I mean, You're learning I have taste. <laughs> I My, haven't given up on you yet. Maybe I have maybe. taste. My favorite band is Linkin Park, so I definitely have taste. To, um, to a point. <laughs> I have the most taste. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, I have a uh, Chester Bennington tattoo right there, so I mean. Yes, Chester. I have right. taste. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that Lincoln Park's not a decent band. Ed, Chester Bennington's vocals were the greatest vocals in existence. <laughs> Whoa! That's, that's quite a. Come on! His vocals were amazing. 10 out of 10 vocals. For you, maybe. Have you heard him scream? Yeah. Screaming vocals on point. I mean, like, he's decent, I guess. I mean, but for me, screaming vocals for me has always, will and always has been M Shadows. I d I've never heard of that man. I don't know her. M she Shadows doesn't even go here. I, I don't know who that is. Like you know things. what the best thing about this vlog is? Is that the mic is closer to me, so they'll be able to hear me and not you. Oh. <laughs> At least not as much. So I'm just contouring up and hopefully that should be the last thing that I have to do. Unless I want to do some body highlights and then I'll probably do that off camera. But this was my pre-pride, pre-everything look. Um, I don't know if I've made this look regular. Um, I feel like whenever I do a makeup look, it just, they all look the same because my brows steal everything. Oh, I haven't done lips. That's what I need to do. Um, yeah, what colour lip? on lipstick that I can actually kiss you. You're not going out tonight, okay? I know, but you're going to kiss me and I don't want to... Yeah, I'm going to kiss you and people going to know I kissed you. Mm. <laughs> okay, what, what lip colour do you think I should do? Uh, you like red. I, I, I like you, you. You're partial to red. Um, the thing is, I don't like this like matte red lip that you want me to put on because if I kiss you, nobody's gonna know that I left them exactly. off there. That's, that's the, the beauty of it. That's the one he likes. Um, but I'm not crazy about that one. I actually really, really like this. If I can find it without destroying everything in my purse. This, this is purple, which was another option because I'm going for blue, pink, and purple. Um, Where are you going to put on black? Black? Nah. It's too sunny for black. Girl! Maybe go from green? 
green. I don't have a green lip. I mean, I could probably put one on, but I mean, it's too much effort for pre-pride. You know what I'm saying? Um, fuck, did I lose my favorite lip gloss? <gasps> the one that makes the perfect red stain on you? <gasps> no. That one. This one. Found it. Oh, you're it is beautiful i love how it sits on my face i just have to keep my hair tied in the wind otherwise it gets everywhere um i'm sorry i'm doing makeup on a budget here and you um, love covering my face in marks yes yes <laughs> what's the point of even having a man if you can't even leave your mark on him um so i think what's i want to <laughs> i'm gonna what is the point <laughs> I'm gonna start with this m matte red lip, which is running out because I've worn it so many times because of Ed's insistence. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't have to go over it in concealer because I'm not here for that today. And if it gets fucked up, I'm just gonna make it look like it's on purpose and it's cute. Um, I'm really glad that you debuted your song, babe. Yeah. On my channel. Mm. I mean, cool. my regular views are only like a hundred people, so you probably won't get in any trouble if that was going to get you in trouble. But won't get me in trouble because I wrote it and I've got all of the um, rights to it. Okay. I'm just saying, if it was going to get you in trouble, it, it shouldn't. It probably wouldn't be too much trouble. I'm the rights holder. Okay, so that's the base, and you can see why I'm not crazy about this red, is because it's a very pale red. It's not like that red, red, like we want a red. Um, so I'm going to go over on top with this and get it all over it. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do you see how much better that is already? I can't see. No, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. Oh. My friends. Hello, darkness. Darkness is not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sticky. And I'm done. So this was the makeup video for today. I'm probably going to do like a really similar look for this tomorrow. So I'm not going to do a makeup vlog tomorrow. Um, I mean, it's all going to be in the same video for you guys. So whatever. But I'm probably going to do like my hair and the like the body paint that we're going to do tomorrow. That's probably what I'm going to be vlogging alongside, um, you know, the actual pride parade. <laughs> Um, instead of just the build up uh, but this was my get ready with me for pre pride and tomorrow will be pride get ready with me um, so yeah tell me what you guys think I know you can't see it like super clearly because this camera is not a it's, it's not a YouTube camera it's my phone um, but I mean I think I did pretty well I think I did pretty great what do you think Ed? you always look beautiful oh, Ed's always sweet but yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow.